welcome to Crank Nutley TV Show. I am your host, Pete Isip, also the head coach here at Crank Nutley, New Jersey. I am happy that you guys have came out today. We're going to talk about a couple things. First off, we're going to talk about all the diets, right? All the things that you've been uh, following, all the things that you've been hearing, and we're just going to give you the three simplest things that you can probably walk away with. To thank our sponsor, today's sponsor is Kenko Meal Prep Service. Eat food, shred fat, that is their slogan. So if you guys haven't, make sure you go to their website. The food is delicious. It is a, uh, a take on health food, except a little bit of an Asian twist to it. So of course, it is made by Asian people, uh, and there is rice. So if you don't like rice, you're definitely not Filipino and or Spanish. But if you do, definitely check out their website, Delicious Food. Uh, this morning, actually, I had my meatballs, um, chicken meatballs, they're delicious, with sesame and uh, a teriyaki seasoning. So if you guys haven't, get to Kenko Meal Prep. I will put it up right there and make sure you guys check it out. Dieting tip number one. Never touch a food after eight or gremlins will pop out of your back. Make sure you drink a shake in the morning and after your workout. Always eat a vegetable. If you don't eat breakfast, you didn't break the fast. Don't eat anything until 11 o'clock and then you have till 11 to 3 to eat whatever it is your gundal wants. Gundal? I meant grundle. Grundle wants. Buy a shake system and just drink shakes and then have one small meal when you will feel totally unsatisfied with your life and what's happening. Don't eat meat, the government wants you to die. Be a vegan, that means eat pizza and tater tots. Don't eat meat, ever. Be a vegan, that means eat pizza and tater tots. You need to eat 3.756 pi squared ounces of protein for your body weight. So take that number 3.75 times pi times your body weight and that's how much protein you need to eat. That's about 13 fishes, 2,000 chickens, and one buffalo testicle. So guys, to be honest with you, in all retrospect after all that nonsense, um, it really doesn't matter what it is you choose. People um, have bashed me and bullied me on, on YouTube for, for voicing my opinion. To be honest with you, I really don't care. Um, but here's three things that you could do to make sure that you have a successful, healthy uh, lifestyle, healthy way to kind of uh, lose weight to help you uh, shed the fat and also be, I guess you could say, a little bit uh, sane. All right? Number one, choose one thing. If you're gonna choose a diet plan, then just choose one. If you're gonna go the keto way, choose the keto way. Are you gonna go low carb, go low carb. If you're gonna do macro count, do macro count. If you use Weight Watchers, use Weight Watchers. If you're gonna go into any type of shake system, use a shake system, okay? That's up to you. That's all personal preference. But here's the big thing, which is number two, stay on it. Be consistent with the choice that you made. Like a lot of times what we do is we just fall off and then we are dissatisfied within the, the three weeks of progress because usually in the first three to four weeks there is a hard adaptation. A lot of the uh, cells in your body do dehydrate which means you're losing a lot of water weight. Um, at the same time, you're probably shedding some fat here and there and or building muscle so that uh, negates it and that'll make you a little leaner. But um, it usually takes it, it usually than that you know to sustain because what's gonna happen is we get so um, amped up in the first four weeks or three weeks and then you see great weight loss weight gain, and then it becomes stagnant at that point you never realize that your body is going through a lot of change and as uh, your body changes you your diet and your your meal planning has to change as well and number three just be consistent Stay on it. Be patient, which is number two, and you got to be consistent, which means you can't do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, fall off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then back on it Monday. That's not going to work, okay? Try doing anything that you do and be as inconsistent as that. You're probably not going to reach the success rate that you probably could if you actually stuck to it for a good three months, six months, maybe even a year long. So let's make our goals a little bit more long term and make them more realistic. Rather than thinking you're gonna lose 25 pounds in two days, that's probably not gonna happen. But I do have a segment that will help you out on how to lose 10 pounds in one week. So let's check this out, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Hey, how do I lose weight faster? 
Hmm, let me think about this. And this question was uh, given by every single person in the entire planet that uses the internet. How do I lose weight faster? Okay, let's think about it. Losing weight versus gaining muscle. If you wanted to lose weight, I could chop your fucking leg off, throw it in the garbage, you're gonna be 50 pounds lighter. You want me to do that? Wait a minute, you want to lose 10 pounds, I could chop your left arm off starting from here. This is exactly about 10 pounds. That's an easy way to lose weight. Another way I could do is I could wrap you up with saran wrap and I could throw you inside a sauna for two hours. You might pass out, you might be dehydrated and die, but you're gonna lose uh, 10 pounds. Okay, so now you gotta think about it this way. Are you looking to just follow a number on scale? Or are you looking to look better? Do you wanna be better? Do you want more muscle? Do you wanna be toned up? Those are the questions you should be asking yourself. Not how do I lose weight faster? If you wanna lose weight faster, don't fucking eat for three days. When you stop eating for three days, your cells are depleted, you're gonna lose weight, but guess what happens once you start eating? Your body takes in all the calories, it takes everything and you're probably gonna be heavier than you were before. And now your body's all messed up because it thinks that it's gonna happen again. And when that happens, you're gonna start storing. So it's gonna store all the fat, it's gonna store all, your, the, all the stuff in your cells, and now your body's not gonna respond the same way. So for those of you that do zigzag dieting, where I lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, that's what's happening because you don't have any structural muscle and you don't have a program to follow to help you have a, a, a longer living, or a longer living, I mean, fuck that man, to have longevity inside your fitness goals. So you gotta think about it. You wanna lose weight? Chop your leg off. 70 pounds down the drain. Might not be able to walk, but hey, what are you gonna do? Hope you guys, I'm super excited for you guys to come out to our first episode of uh, Crank Nutley TV. Um, this is something different, something new, something I thought of um, last night. So be patient. It's going to progress. We're going to have a lot of guest speakers on, uh, podcast people, um, anything that has to do with health, fitness, and community. I'll update you guys uh, with things that are happening in town. If there's someone that you know that might want to be on the show and talk, message me up. Okay? Thank you so much for following. And don't forget, be consistent. Be dedicated and also do something else that I want to say, but I can't think of off the top of my head. I'll see you guys later. I'm Pete Isip from Crank Nutley. Welcome to the Crank Nutley TV show. Peace out, guys. I'll see you later and I'll see you next week. In next week's episode, we're going to talk about many different types of fad diets and the difference between them. We're going to go over the snatch, the barbell snizzatch. And we're going to show you a how-to video on how to do that and many, many other wonderful things. I'll see you guys next week. Tune in Wednesday. Make sure you guys like up our Facebook page because that's where it's going to be viewed on. All right? I'll see you guys later. And share it up if you can. Please do us a favor. Make this a TV show that you could actually watch on your phone. Well, I think you guys already do that. It's called Netflix.